A powerful earthquake and extreme rainfall hit Hualien on April 3rd, causing severe damage to the region's infrastructure and frequent flooding in urban areas. Amid the cleanup, experts pointed out that natural disasters highlight weaknesses in Taiwan's infrastructure and response mechanisms. Not every typhoon and earthquake will result in a disaster. Usually there are property damages or personal injuries, sometimes even deaths of residents. Those are usually due to building collapses. Maybe the building is fine, but you may be hurt because of other facilities, such as cabinets or other heavy objects. Zhuang stressed that it is the vulnerable infrastructure that poses the greatest risk. He emphasized the need for disaster awareness and institutionalized safety practices among residents. From buildings to transportation to urban drainage systems, experts underscore the need for robust infrastructure and response strategies. The seismic design specification for homes, bridges from the Highway Bureau and railroad bridges of the Taiwan Railway, are they all revised together? So what is the biggest problem with Taiwan's infrastructure? No cross-domain integration. Amid climate change, extreme weather events have increased in scale and frequency, sometimes surpassing government capacity. Reflecting on the events of 2024, the urgency for improved earthquake response and recovery measures has never been more apparent. Experts urge the government to strengthen disaster preparedness campaigns and enhance public awareness. Ye Yufu, Luo Shipong, Lu Hongchang, Xu Kunshan, Vivian Shao, TVBS, World Taiwan.